Hello everyone, my name is Liam, welcome back to my channel! We are continuing in Sally phase, and at the moment, we had figured out that all of our friends are apparently dead. And we are going to die too, because the only person who could have saved us also died. So, let's get into the rest of the story. Hey, sorry to ruin a moment, but what the hell is this place? Oh my god, Ash. <laughs> Ashley, you scared the crap out of us! I can see that! <laughs> Man, am I glad to see you, Ash? I thought we were done for. I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare, I... Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he... It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Damn. And please don't tell me this is what we're going into the baloney. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked into yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key ring under the dresser. One of these key has to open the other bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything to get out of this room. Okay, sure, I guess. If Ash hadn't shown up, we might not have found those word keys. Glad to be of service. Okay, let's get out of here, guys. To the other room. We are in! Oh god, no! What in the... Oh my god! Oh my god, they are children! The missing one! Oh my god, is she sacrificing them? And use their meat to feed the other kids! Oh my god, that's... Oh, whoa! That's awful! This can't be good. Th this isn't good. Oh my god, the freezer. Another damn combo lock. What could this one be? Pie. It's pie again. <laughs> okay, this is one. Right? Oh, that's five. I don't know what I did. I just moved that. Um... We, we're in way over our heads here. We need to get help. There are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here. It's all just... Meat. <gasps> Dude! No, come on! Oh my god, that's... <gasps> She's right, we should get help. Don't you see? There is no one who can help us. Every time something happens here, it's covered up. The cold Luke, Charlie, Mrs. Sanderson? Who knows what else this place has hidden? We can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because they want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we told them about. Then what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packerton's chopping people up and serving them to... Ugh. I don't think I'll ever look at Loni the same again. <gasps> well... Well, what? You asked why I can eat the baloney and I told you why. Of all the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next? Why bother? You probably don't believe me what I've said up until now anyways, and this story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it up to make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of this story and we'll air it in this entirety without cuts, I promise you. 
I heard you mention Todd Morrison's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still in the hospital? I'll tell you what. You finished the balloon story and I'll tell you about Todd. So Todd can be alive. We know Larry's dead. We don't know what happened to Ash. We are in prison and... We don't know what happened to our friend Todd. Before we left Mrs. Packerton's room, Ash notices something else. Hey guys, come look at this. Ooh, I, we knew it. There's some kind of trash chute hiding behind that painting. That's weird, this building doesn't have trash chutes. It doesn't look like it goes outside. There is no light coming in. Be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. She's going to... Yep. Of course she is. Ash! Ash! Are you okay? Ash! Oh no, no, this can't be happening. Please let her be okay. We have to find where this leads to. How are we? What are we? I'm gonna shimmy down. It's the only way. Dude, no, you're not thinking straight. What if you fall too or land on her? If she's still alive, that could kill her. Okay, yeah, you're right. Let's think. I don't know what you're saying again. I know where it goes. What? How? Never mind. Just go get Todd and meet me in the basement. How do we know where it goes? What's going on? Sam, what did you see? Is Ashley alright? Everything is going to be okay. Come help me with this. Oh, the biohazard. No one has used this apartment in a long time. It's in rough shape, but Addison can afford the renovation it needs, just like the fifth floor. Is this what you saw in your vision, Sal? It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of hidden intuition. Alright, lead the way. Larry and I will offer support however we can. It's locked. Wait, one of those keys from Packer don't look like the old apartment keys. Try that out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about those. Eric! <laughs> I guess. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. Okay. Maybe we should use this. Okay, there isn't anything that we can use this to the bath bedroom. To the carpet is ripped. The carpet is torn off here. It looks like hmm. Looks like what? Guys, come check this out. Uh oh, it just keep getting worse. Don't. There must be an under undocumented sub basement level. It's definitely not in any of the blueprint that I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of the like. I had no idea this was here. The third key from Mrs. Packerton fits in this door. Ash must be down there. It's the only place that should could lead to. This is not a good idea, but let's go. May your sight praise the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. Oh, this is the cult. Okay. Well, this looks bad. 
Incredible! This architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship. This is freaky as hell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, which not seeming the area is pres presently vacant and has been for a while. Let's hope that the mellow main woolen history of this place remains in the past. Yeah, well, we need to get through that gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any obvious mechanism to move the large gate. They must be built into the wall. It's likely that the pressure for opening this gate is hidden. Okay. We better split up and search the room. Examine an old leather bound book with symbol of gold tails on the cover. The text is written in another language and the page smells like rotten flesh. This book gives me an oddly strong sensation of deja vu. Yes, we saw that before. In our freaky gear boy. It's a bit strange that a place like this has lights bulb. They must have been installed later on. Though this green bulb in particular is fascinating, I've never seen a bulb quite like it. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery. There are no visible switches. Look all around this area. Hmm. Can, can, can we go? No, we can't go. And that's the light for you. Oh, fuck then. Intriguing. This green light seems to be a part of larger system. Once activated, their energy is transferred into the floor below. Okay. Additionally, they must be har harnessing the same type of energy as the Super Gear Boy emits. Since you were able to trigger them with it, what do you think that means? To be honest, I'm not totally sure. This technology isn't like anything I dealt with before. However, it's likely that these things were used for something supernatural, perhaps even the summon the red eye demon. It's a good thing that cold isn't around anymore, the demon too. After we find Ash, we should smash everything anyway, just in case. Actually, I'd like to study some of these things further. It may prove useful in some way. Hmm, yeah, I don't think so. Can I go further? There is some freaking symbol over there, the gold symbol. Oh wait, I should use my freaking gear bar. We talk later. Oh! Can I take it? Yep, I can take it. Let's put it in here. Examine an old leather bound book. There's a symbol on the cover of a bird within a circle. The text is written in another language, so I can read it. Lodi is spattered on some of this page and the book is burned across the bottom edge. Touching this makes me feel lightheaded, as if it's producing a strange energy. What's with all this spike? Like, dude, you can't turn around without stopping your toe. Shit hurts like hell too. Okay. Let's turn this on too. Dude, those little obsky thingy just got bigger. It's going out. Okay. What are you trying to give me a horn hike? That will scare the shit out of me! Sorry, I got the gate open for a second, but that switch won't stay down. Tad, can you come and stand on this? Later on, I, I can go find Ash while you make sure we don't get locked in. Sure, I can do that! 
Um, I don't trust Todd now. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you guys, I can't trust anyone with my life. <laughs> no, but she's in there somewhere, so let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down here. Oh, Todd. Sorry for doubting you. <laughs> Looks like there are two ways. You better split up. I was sure you were going to say that. Okay. Oh, beer Larry now? Why do these things always happen to me? <laughs> Larry. Oh my god, beer Larry now. But at least we know he doesn't die now. He's older when he's a ghost. Ash? Okay, there are. Crap, this nice is lucky man. There are freaking three doors. Huh. There should be a way of figuring this out, right? But what? There's only two doors here, right? Or maybe I just came out of the middle one. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, we have to follow the sound, like the last time. That's not it. This is it. Hi. <laughs> this is the same thing. <laughs> I mean, guys, the game doesn't let you get out of it at some point of the game. That's why the timing is so wrong. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, but yeah. Okay, there's a door. You can open it. Gotta figure out how to open this stupid gate. Okay. We have this. We have this. This. Um. This. This. So what did I do? <laughs> what? Did I actually solve that? I have no idea what was the code. Just... Was us just jumping? <laughs> oh! We are back with Sully. Okay... Now what are we doing? I'm guessing we should follow the voice again? Let's see if they are... Yeah. We have to follow the voice. Again, like we did with Larry. So, there is another door that makes this sound. Yeah, okay. Or maybe we're just getting lost. Maybe we shouldn't follow the voice. Let's see how... Yeah. I think we shouldn't follow the voice. Or noise. That's not the voice. Hmm. Quite the opposite. Okay. Where well, I am still wrong. That could be true too. <laughs> but we are taking our chances. I think I was right. Yeah, I was right. Okay. There is a book. Examine it. An old book with a wooden cover. There is a solid black circle craved into the front that's made from a different type of wood. The frail green pages are covered in painted symbols. I can't make any sense of it, but it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Okay. We have a door. I need to get this open. Again. If I knew what I did last time... <laughs> I'm 
trying to do what I did last time, but... Okay. I don't know. Oh, it opened! Yay! Okay, wait a minute. Was it something? The other side? Oh, there is another door here. But you're not talking about that one, are you? We have to get that one open. Interesting. Where are we? <laughs> what did you do? Oh, here we are. Hey, good timing. I think we have to pull this lever at the same time to open that gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind that gate is in the center of this place. Hmm. It's the last room. Ash has to be back there. Okay, let's open it then. Huh? Hmm. I think this weird hex thing from Mrs. Packerton's desk is some kind of key. Oh. Interesting. Wow! Let's see if we can find Ash. I completely forgot about her. Holy shit, man! Wow! Okay, so she should be here. There are shooters, right? Oh, here she is! Hopefully she's still alive. Ash! Ash, are you okay? Ash! Is she? She's still breathing. Come on, help me get her up. Huh? She's awake. What? What's going on? Where are we? Dude, you fell down the stupid trash chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy and sore. No broken bones. Well, none of mine at least. <laughs> Man, Ash, you wouldn't believe what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally. He had one of his vision thingy and... Then he found this old cellar door in the basement. And then we went down this long creepy stairs. And then we found this crazy ass cold temple or some shit down here. And then there were all these puzzles and traps and maze and thought. Hall is holding the front gate open for us. We should get back here. Go back there. Wow, this is so much to take in. I can't believe all of this is right below the apartment. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Yeah, always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to do about all of this? Mrs. Packerton has killed a lot of people, and the baloney? Oh, we can't just ignore this. Definitely not. Judging by what you guys have told me about the inner room of the table and about Mrs. Packerton's apartment, it could be possible that she's gotten herself wrapped in the co uh, cold as well. Even if the congregation has long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon this door just as we have. Or maybe she's the last remaining member trying to carry out whatever their plan were on her own. You don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her, preferably like before that happened. I know going to local voice isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time our parents can't deny what's happening. They help us once we show them what's below this building and what Packerton has been go doing. Ash is right, we should get our parents involved in this. Maybe we should just kill her. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mrs. Packerton, maybe we should kill her. She is old, so it shouldn't be that hard. We can't just kill someone, Larry, then we'd be no better than her. Normally, I would be against harming others, but 
In this case, Larry might be right. Todd, Larry, seriously, you guys. Think about all of the strange, unexplainable occurrences that happened in Addison apartment and in Knockville in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Mrs. Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. If that we explain the police covers up of Charlie and Holmes' family murders, there is no telling how far this corruption reaches. Oh, damn. I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar earlier today, too. I don't know, maybe this does fall on us to take care of. Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are about petty things like being popular and having nice hair. Not us, though. We just have to worry about saving the world, I guess. Well, I guess it's all on us. I think we are going to kill someone. Finally. <laughs> I forgot what I did for her voice. Again. So what happened? That's what I'm going to do. We decided to sleep on it. I, it was nearly morning anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher, what did you decide? Did you go to the police? Didn't have to. Turns out Packeton got into a car accident on the way home. That same night, she and the other driver were killed on impact. Hmm. Well, that's quite convenient. You can look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. Beloved Knockville High teacher killed by drunk driver. Of course, you won't find anything about the dead bodies in her apartment or how she was feeding the student human flesh. That was all cover up. I see. I don't care if you don't believe me. It's the truth and you said you would air the full story. Don't worry, Sal. It will, it will be aired in full. I'll always keep my word and I think the people will be very interested in what you have to say. Everyone is watching you now. You spoke with a great fondness about your friend Ashley. I understand that you two were very close. You even consider her one of your best friends along with Larry Johnson and Todd Morrison. Is that true? Okay. Yes. Have you seen this? Oh god. The Sally Face Killer trial today for mass murder including entire family sources say that the persecutor will call Ashley Campbell to testify against the Sullyface killer. Campbell is a longtime friend of Sullyface and they were said to be very close in their high school years. So she's alive? Okay. Oh, he's crying. What about Todd? You said you tell me about Todd. Oh, right, of course. We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. He's still out of it, or responsive, still not talking, so we couldn't have conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal, apparently Morrison hasn't shown any sign of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say that the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. He doesn't know fantasy from reality and all he wants is to die. When he is denied the release of death, he became extremely violent. I, I need to help him. Somehow, I need to help him. Even the doctor and trade professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose that you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. What is wrong with Todd? Is he possessed? Oh my god, he knows I freaking know it! <gasps> I knew it! Oh, poor Todd. <laughs> 
Okay. Fine then. At least we know that. Addison apartment. We're playing guitar? Oh, we're older here. And bloody hands. Okay. It's getting bloodier. So that's how we got caught. Oh, 3.33. I'm awake. I'm awake already. Okay. Can we? Can we? How do we? Okay, we are dreaming. We are dreaming. Where is the sound coming from? Is it from the door? Okay, we can't get anything. We can just get out. Sure. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's a demon. <laughs> Is he following me? Can we talk to him? Okay, Beelzebub. Who are you? I am Lord Beelzebub. Whoa, really? So you're like the devil or something? No, it's a nickname bestowed upon me by my kin. Family can be rough. Indeed. Very good. <laughs> okay, that's the sixth door. And even though that's my favorite number, we are going to go through the other doors first. Okay, one, two, three. Four and the five is I tried to get into that and that's what happened, okay? Maybe four. It's locked. Oh okay. We don't have the num maybe. Oh no. No idea. Okay. Tree is open. Okay. So maybe I should read <laughs> I don't know. It could be the code to the door. Okay. That could be the code. That could be nothing. But still we I was broken before he found me To scatter the moss Then he looked upon my face And saw all of me at once After being discarded by everyone else After years of not being seen or heard He saw me and we were in love And everything was perfect Until it fell apart again Now there is only pain I can go through her we are going to... Everything falls apart. Okay. Let's get back. Slowly. Poof. The freaking faces. They're sin. What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all. Nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods have faded. Their watchful eyes turned to horrified screams and then everything was black. Wow, okay. Yeah, okay. Any code here? Okay, another one. Another one, another one, another one. Alright. Any more codes? Okay. Okay, okay. So... I think we should go... As the doors? I think? Anything? Oh, hi! <laughs> there was a knock at the door. And I could see again. I was... Me again. Suddenly... It for 
towards my hand and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion I was forced to watch everything a prisoner in my own mind I have done terrible things and forgivable things all right sure do I want to go in the fifth floor fifth door oh no fourth you think we didn't get this one okay this is the lock so it should be maybe it's this and then it's huh? I don't get it maybe we, we are missing something so those are in the code still locked the thing is, it doesn't have all the freaking codes. So something is missing. Maybe I should get to the sixth door first. So... Let's talk about this one first. They are heartbroken. Their sins, they are in a lot of pain. They are filled with regret and sorrow. Wait a minute, can I go through that door? Oh, okay. Once you go, once you go through that door, there is no going back. Thank you. You're welcome. See you, Bobs. <laughs> what? Do I want to go through that door first? Okay, something. Hmm. This seems. Hmm. What was the last one? We've been kidding! Okay. <laughs> I literally have no idea what's going on. Holy mother of God. Her fate. Her soul was corrupted by the dark. By hunger. By isolation. She suffered greatly. Through her union. We have saved her. We are the endless echoes within oblivion. We are all that is, was, and will ever be. Holy moly. Ooh. Okay, there is another code. Not that the last one did help us. But hey, at this point. Maybe we just have to... Bye. <laughs> Maybe we just have to... Go through this. There's no going back. Okay. We can't turn that on. But we can also just check everywhere first. Okay, turn it on. Okay. <laughs> what? Lost. What is this doing? Exit. Okay. Oh my god. This is look like... Hello. Is anyone listening? Is anyone there? Please, I need help. I... I can't remember who I am so dark here I remember a blinding light when a burning 
pain washed over me then I was here I can shake this feeling of loss and despair am I dead? Okay, we don't have any other cape. Oh, hello. We are older here. Oh, hey. Okay, blade corn. Creepy masks. And oh, are those mine? Okay, maybe. That makes sense. Wednesday? Sure. Still a fan. Charger? Huh. Where is my cell phone? No freaking idea. Why do I have... Oh, do I have a prosthetic eye too? I didn't know that. Where is my phone? That's the question. That's my room. Basement, bathroom. I don't think my phone be in bathroom. Whose room is that? Oh, upstairs. What did I just say? Can check the fridge and the front door. Hmm. Okay, maybe check here first, even though I don't- oh! Okay, a lot of garbage, maybe, or unopened longies. Oh, hi! <laughs> okay, that's downstairs. Okay, let's ask Neil. Morning, Zalia! What's happening? Hey, Neil! Oh, isn't that... Todd's boyfriend? <laughs> no big tails today, huh? I don't think I ever seen you with your hair down. I almost didn't recognize you. Ha, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You feeling alright, man? You seem out of it. Yeah, am I right? Have you been sleeping okay? I heard you get up a few times last night. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. I know you're not a big fan, but you should have a cup. It do you, dude? I never start a day without my caffeine fix. Thanks, I guess I'm feeling a little tired. Not a problem, Celio. Okay, I can't go through him. Where is my freaking phone? Have you seen my cell phone? I can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. I almost forgot I had it. Thanks, I didn't realize I left it outside. No worries, happened to the best of us. Here you go, man. I don't know why I'm so cheerful with it. <laughs> oh, so we, we are living with Todd too. Okay, where's Todd? He has class this morning. Alright. How goes the ghost hunting? Todd was saying that it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow? I wish... Uh, I mean, yeah, slow. It's been a slow. <laughs> you boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know, I can handle myself, right? Plus, I'm two years older than you all. No, I know. It's just that we... Yeah, yeah, four friends made a pack five years ago, and I can respect that loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty damn cute, though. <laughs> if you know the truth. <laughs> Speaking of cute, I heard that the lovely Ash was coming to town today. The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We are supposed to catch up this afternoon. So, that's a new one? No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's a still coffee downstairs calling your name. Sally face, come get some. Did you hear those strange noises? Hmm. 
Hmm. You're gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sliviet. Last night, I thought I heard something like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was up watching TV. I love how my cat is watching TV all the time. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. It was kind of like a... Mm, never mind. Probably just a nightmare. Gosh, man, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. How's work going? Ah, shoot, work! I'm supposed to cover the morning shift today. Gotta run, Saleo! We get up later. Okay. <laughs> that was a nice interaction. Uh, okay. We are still in Nightfield then. So that's good. And oh, that's a picture of freaking Todd and Nail. And we found our phone. Okay, let's go downstairs. So we are leaving with um, Neil and Todd. Where is Larry? We can go to our own room. We can go to the basement. We can go to the bathroom. Let's see if anything is here. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, <gasps> there is blood. I see blood. Do you see that? That's blood. He's not going to... Okay, let's go to the basement. Is Gizmo there? There's a pet door. Yep, definitely. Okay. Gizmo? Hi, Gizmo. Dude, really? Where do you keep getting these stickers? <laughs> I love my cat. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, we can get out of the house. Or go upstairs again. I mean, the only thing that didn't, we didn't try is getting out, right? Okay, this is the backyard. This is the shit. We just updated the lock and I'm not sure what Todd set the new code to. I don't know. Um, maybe there it's it's written somewhere. Can't find it, right? What do I have in my inventory? Okay, that's my phone. My cell phone. It reminds me of the old walkie-talkie days. Okay, let's use it. The battery is dead. I'll have to. Oh, okay, we have to go up and charge it. Okay, that's the charger. I'll check that in a minute. Okay, let's. Go through the front yard. See what we find. It's so bright outside. Okay. It's so bright outside. Okay. Oh, there's a note from Todd to me. What's the code? Sal, here is the new code. 4035364. Okay. We have the code. Let's go to the shit. Okay. Let's get. Oh, wait. I, what was it? Right? Yep. Ooh, so we are still trying to solve the mystery. I can't believe we've been working on this for five years now. So it's been five years. It feels like the more connection we find, the less sense it all makes. Honestly, same. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about this game. Okay, stop. Is the cold still operating? If so, then where are they all? Okay. Workstation. It was cool of Rob to give us some funds for new equipment when he found out what we were up to. He basically thought we were real life Ghostbusters. Rob. Who was Rob? Who was Rob? I don't remember him. Rob, Robert. I don't remember who he was. 
Okay, let's get our phone. Hi, Gizmo. Bye, Gizmo. Okay, phone. Look like a chart now. There's a new message from Larry. Yes, Larry, we love Larry. Yes, use. Are you a wink? <laughs> um. And now, what's up? Something is wrong with Anderson's apartment. Other than ghosts in the creepy basement? I'm serious. I'm coming over. Give me, give me a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Text me when you're ready. Ready. Okay. Hello? Okay. Oh my god, okay. Episode 4, the trial? <laughs> what the hell just happened? We didn't even get to see Larry! Oh my god. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you had initially said you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. So you admit to lying in your original statement. I didn't even see his face and the voice is really right for him. <laughs> yes, I was in shock from what had happened and thought that the truth would be more harmful. But no one would believe me, I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. It's important that people hear what I have to say, whether they believe it or not. Well, I hope for their sake that they do. Is it a threat? It's a warning. But you must believe that there is still a killer on the loose with that crowd that all of the evidence produced today. The victim's blood on your clothes and a skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts. And all of these things were some elaborate cover-up. Created by who? The county police department? If it's alright with the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologic, chronologi uh, why? chronologically <laughs> oh my god. In order to prevent the tales from being taken out of context, well, more so than they already have been. I'll allow it. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Fisher. But realize we will expect answers to this question the persecution has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. Okay, so we are continuing. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, something is seriously wrong. Oh, this bit beard. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it since we blasted years ago. I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the sewer gear boy and found nothing. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That is a little odd. Though, who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were able to finally pass on. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like... Something under my skin crawling around itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some shit. I can't feel it. Hmm. What? Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling too. Like everything is foggy and there's something there. Just beyond the fog. Just waiting. Yes! Exactly whatever it is. It's coming from the apartment. So are you gonna come check it out or what? Of course I will. Okay then. We going? Should we get Tom? He has class today. 
Alright, how about coming and have a new gadget or something? He has been working on something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar modes are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet, so best not to mess with it. Hopefully it works better than the box thingy he made last year. Yeah, I love to keep my guitar in one piece. Okay, so we were using a guitar, probably trying to get rid of the demon or something. Almost, I wanna get no rest. Why is it going so fast? Cool, Todd. Hello? <laughs> Why did this conversation go so fast? I wasn't pressing any button. I don't know. And I don't think it was that important, but still. Oh, what the hell is that? What? Are we not going to mention that? Salvation Road? Okay. Knockville Home. Affordable homes in the beautiful hillside district. Okay. Hey, Sam. Yeah. What if everything is too broken to fix? Like, why are we the only ones doing anything about any of this? I think everyone else just chooses to ignore the fact that everything is so broken, you know? How can they? I don't get it. How are other people so happy? Why can't we be like that? Maybe it's because we actually give a shit or maybe it's because we can ignore how messed up things are around here. I guess. I don't know my old... Sure... Neverrock Cemetery. Are we not going to talk about that either? Nope. We are not going to mention that. Phillips Ministry. Wait. We're not going to talk about this either? <laughs> Anything else? God sees all. Sure. Addison apartment! Yay! That looks like you were right about that storm. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. Right behind ya! Okay. So, what happened to our dad? Oh! Why did you go there? Master Addison's been storing this stuff in here so long, I bet he don't even remember what's in all these boxes. They're probably fit the stuff from when his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. The rest is like old clothes, old tea sets, cookbooks, just a bunch of old junks. Larry! What? You snoop through trends things? Well, yeah, dude. How could I not? The guy never leaves his room. Plus, I also wanted to make sure he wasn't involved with the cult or hiding bodies in here or anything weird. But it's all just normal, boring old man stuff. Okay, fair enough, I guess. I don't want to leave. I want to see what's in here. Anything interesting. If not, Larry. Next time you plan on doing some nosing around, make sure you let me know. Heh, <laughs> well done. Sure, so... okay? Let's talk to Addison. Well, good morning, yes, sir. How are you two doing on this fine day? We're doing okay, how about you? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building. Of course we do miss having our dear Sal Fisher with us, and I'll be sad to see Larry going as well. I'll miss it here too, but it'd be nice to get out of that basement, plus we're only right down the road. I understand, or I'm glad are all grown up now, and ready for the next stage of their life. I'm excited for you both, you know, I wish you boys nothing but the best, you truly deserve it. Thanks. Thank you, Trance. Ah, he's nice. The thing is, have we been in his place? I mean, I know Larry go through his stuff, but 
Do we know it is okay in his own house? Rosenberg! Why did they leave all of Rosenberg's stuff in here again? I don't know, some think that she's on vacation or something and then she'll come back. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, so is she dead or not? I think she's dead. Or maybe we did something. I'm still not really sure what happened to her. You're saying she just like disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. Alright, I remember you saying that. And she was in the cold for a while, but then it stopped them. Or tried to stop them? Oh no, sorry. This is Larry. And she was in the cold for a while, but then it stopped them. Or tried to stop them, which would have made her super old. I think she was a witch. That would make sense though. If she had power, why would Rosemar just mop around this little apartment? Maybe she was too old or maybe she had just given up. If I had powers, I would never retire. I'd be getting into all kind of trouble. <laughs> I know you would. Okay, we can go further. How about or Angry neighbor. Yeah, what do you want, Sal? Ah, why is he here? Hey, Mrs. Gibson, we were... Okay, well, that's about power for the course. That lady sure can hold a grudge. Did we check her apartment? <laughs> I'm suspicious of everyone. Let's go up. Okay, so... Should we check our own house first? I'm curious. I mean, we don't know where our dad is. Dad and Lisa, what? What? Did they get married? Oh, they did! That's a wedding! Wow! Wow! Well, hello parents! 